the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hi to all our parish family members. This is your priest, Father Paul Narisetti. We are into the third week of Easter. Jesus wants to accompany us in our life journey. Emma's journey truly unfolds the source and summit of Christian life, the Eucharist. This episode in Luke's Gospel chapter 24 verses 13 to 35 really teaches us about the Eucharist, the Holy Mass. The journey to Emmaus by two disciples had been a long and stressful. They have been thinking through this journey that everything is finished and no hope. When you are in this state of mind and emotions, you cannot see or understand the plan of God. You do not recognize who joined you or who is talking to you. Lost in your thoughts and lost in your sight. Things seems to be bleak and no hope. Like those two disciples, we often walk distracted, rejected, beaten up by the world. We are lost in thoughts and sight. Once you hear the word of God through the readings in the Eucharist, God speaks to you. He has a message for you. You must be wondering how the readings in the Holy Mass have a message and they are perfectly synchronized. This synchronization shows that the New Testament is concealed in the Old Testament and the Old Testament is revealed in the New Testament. That's how God revealed through his chosen ones and in the final times through his son. The readings in the Eucharistic celebration are so synchronized because the Holy Mother Church has coordinated the readings so that what Jesus showed to the disciples on the way to Emmaus was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets he interpreted to them the things about himself in all scriptures Luke 24 26 to 27 The relationship between Old Testament prophecies fulfilling in him may be understood And we see that all these mentioning of the scriptures made the disciples hearts in their own words were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road while he was opening the scriptures to us luke 24:32 but only in the breaking of the bread and giving it to them luke 24:30 their eyes were open and they recognized him luke 24:31 Probably from the beginning the church realized the importance of the breaking of the bread the eucharist and said that the eucharist is the source and summit of christian life even the common and the illiterate also can recognize the lord in the breaking of the bread at the beginning of the acts of the apostles chapter 2 verse 42 we read they devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and fellowship to the breaking of the bread and the prayers so we need to devote ourselves to the prayers word of god and the eucharist these days we are unable to participate in the eucharist and limiting ourselves to the telecasted masses for time being we can only do this but remember how the recognition of jesus occurred to the disciples when jesus broke the bread and gave it to them luke 24:30 so watching the eucharist gives us the experience and recognition of the divine but receiving the broken body and blood in the eucharist fills us with jesus and Jesus walks with us in and through our life journey so eagerly wait 
for the time to come again soon to receive Jesus. To be an Eucharistic people means to be Jesus' people. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.